Now each episode we're going to be taking a look at what's happening in and around Hull, keeping an eye on events and developments within the city and offering views and opinions on the present and the future of where we do business. quite interesting with this city and the surrounding area that I've yet to have a bad meal. If you come to a place like Hull, which historically has had a bit of a bad rap for some various reasons, and then you discover there's a whole bunch of good restaurants here, you think, well, this is a city out to see. We chose to come round here, we looked at a lot of different places, um, but this area just was quite attractive to us for the kind of uh, setup that we wanted set out a stall to cook nice food, locally sourced, seasonal food and uh, within a very short space of time we ended up being very busy and three and a half years down the line we now employ about 35 people and it's just a great place to be, live and eat, sleep and breathe really. And the, and the museums offer for example is fantastic. The Deep is, is a wonderful experience, my, my boys love going there. But there's also many, many other things, the, 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 the music um, scene in, in the area is, is superb, both for orchestral music, uh, there's some great chamber music um, that, that takes place at the university. So there's, there's a whole range of cultural experiences in, in the area. It's the beginning of, of the gateway into Europe. We're, we're really centrally placed for the rest of the UK as, as well. But as I say, before moving on, really explore what's around here. There, there, are, there are many, many things to, to see and do.